Hello everybody, this is Ravindra Dastiko once again welcoming you all for my video session on artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence like the autonomous things which was covered in an earlier session as a huge field which is impacting our today's technological landscape. Artificial intelligence has a long history of evolution and a large impact on today's industries in many sectors. In today's session we will be briefly covering what is this artificial intelligence is all about and what are its roots, what are its applications and how it has been used in industries of different nature and finally what are the different variations of artificial intelligence such as computer vision, machine learning and others. Welcome again. Now let me introduce you to this emerging area of artificial intelligence. One of a better way to understand artificial intelligence is through its potential. Artificial intelligence denoted as AI makes it possible for machines to learn from experience, adjust to new inputs and perform human like tasks. This can be best illustrated by considering a case of driving on a road. Suppose you are driving on a road, depending on where you are driving, you decide the speed and direction. For instance, if you are driving on highways, the speed is not a limiting factor unless you want care about your safety. But however, as you enter city, then once you enter traffic, then you have to decide the speed and the course of direction depending on the relative traffic. An artificially intelligent machine, if it is put into an autonomous car, is capable of understanding the circumstances and decide both speed and direction of a given vehicle. Artificial intelligence is a very famous field today. It has found many applications. Most AI examples that you hear about today from chess playing computers to self-driving cars rely heavily on deep learning and natural language processing. Both deep learning and natural language processing are special fields within artificial intelligence. Using these technologies, namely deep learning and natural language processing, computers can be trained to accomplish specific tasks by processing large amounts of data and recognizing patterns in the data. For example, face recognition is one application of AI. Spam detection in email is another application of AI. With this background in mind, the agenda for today's video presentation includes a history, the origin and evolution of artificial intelligence, and next, artificial intelligence in today's world, the different application that we see uh, using AI, how artificial intelligence is being used in different domains, and finally, how artificial intelligence works and the theory and technologies behind it. The term artificial intelligence was introduced in 1956. However, the domain of artificial intelligence remained dormant for next few decades. But AI has become more popular today thanks to increased data volumes, also called big data, advanced algorithms and improvements in computing power and storage. The additional computing power required for artificial intelligence processing comes through cloud computing. The early artificial intelligence research in the 1950s explored topics like problem solving and symbolic methods. In the 1960s, the US Department of Defense took interest in this type of work and began training computers to mimic basic human reasoning. For example, the Defense Department Research Project Agency, DARPA, completed street mapping projects in the 1970s and DAPRA produced intelligent personal assistant as early as in 2003, long before the well-known applications such as Siri, Alexa or Cartana were become household names. The major developments in artificial intelligence started happening in the 1950s to 1970s. The major focus area in those days was neural networks. Neural networks created uh, excitement for thinking machines. The idea of neural network is to mimic the human nervous system and how man thinks and accordingly build machines. The second major development in artificial came in 1980s to 2010s and it is called machine learning. With the additional computing power and storage given by cloud computing, a new advanced algorithms were developed to use computers in different ways. 
in machine learning a machine is given a heap of data and asked to explore that data and find the patterns within that and any insight which is available due to these patterns the current trend in artificial intelligence is deep learning deep learning takes machine learning to another level of analysis in which it uses global patterns and global data for understanding the human behavior for instance companies like such as google and facebook they use deep learning to understand the customer interaction with their systems and how they behave in fact the recent corona virus the spread across the world is being studied using deep learning algorithms artificial intelligence has made inroads into our life they have found many application for instance there are ai enabled hospitals where they help both patients and doctors to make informed decisions ai assisted retail stores help both the shopkeeper as well as the buyer to make very good choices of items available predictive analytics systems are capable of talking and helping a customer finally the list goes on and there is no end for this the domain of artificial intelligence is also working with another important area called internet of things data is all around us the internet of things and sensors have the ability to harness large volumes of data while artificial intelligence can learn patterns in the data to automate tasks for a variety of business benefits one of the very popular area of artificial intelligence implementation is healthcare ai applications in healthcare can provide personalized medicine and x-ray readings personal health care assistants can act as if life coaches reminding you to take your pills exercise and eat healthier diet artificial intelligence is also used in industry one of the application it finds is, is in manufacturing AI can analyze factory IoT data as it streams from connected equipment to forecast expected load and demand using recurrent networks a specific type of deep learning network used with sequence data Another important human activity is shopping and artificial intelligence also finds its use in retail marketing AI provides virtual shopping capabilities that offer personalized recommendation and discuss purchase options with the consumer. Stock management and site layout technologies will also be improved with AI which will increase efficiency and effectiveness of shopping malls. Banks are also places where artificial intelligence has found very useful applications. artificial intelligence enhances the speed, precision, effectiveness of human efforts such as processing of loan applications or dispensing money in counter and more in financial institutions ai techniques can be used to identify which transactions are likely to be fraudulent adopt fast and accurate credit scoring as well as automate manually intense data management tasks the power and potential of artificial intelligence is huge and large however we should not be afraid to use artificial intelligence because Artificial intelligence is not here to replace us it augments our abilities and makes us a better at what we do because ai algorithms learn differently than humans they look at things differently they can see relationships and patterns that escape us so the approach to us artificial intelligence is not something which you are should be terrified or think that you will lose your jobs or your career however you should think that it is going to be a friend all along your career this human and artificial intelligence partnership offers many opportunities it can bring analytics to industries and domains where it is currently underutilized it can improve the performance of existing analytic technologies like computer vision and time series analysis it can break down economic barriers including language and translation barriers it can augment existing abilities and make us better at what we do give us better vision provide understanding better memory and much more resources which we can use and exploit for the betterment of the society as well as ourselves now after understanding its different applications we will understand how ai works 
AI works by combining large amounts of data with fast iterative processing and intelligent algorithms, allowing the software to learn automatically from patterns or features in that data. AI is a broad field of study that includes many theories, methods and technologies and as well as the following major subfields. The first subfield of artificial intelligence is machine learning. Machine learning automates analytical model building. It uses methods from neural networks, statistics, operation research and physics to find hidden insights in data without explicitly being programmed for where to look for or what to conclude. Another important area within artificial intelligence is called a neural network. A neural network is a type of machine learning that is made up of interconnected units like human neurons that processes information by responding to external inputs called stimuli and relaying information between each unit. The process requires multiple passes called iterations at the data to find connections and derive meaning from undefined data and this process of looking at data multiple times is called learning in each iteration. The current state of artificial intelligence is called deep learning. Deep learning uses huge neural networks with many layers of processing units taking advantage of advances in computing power and improved training techniques to learn complex patterns in large amounts of data. Common applications include image and speech recognition. The domain of artificial intelligence is very diversified. A field within it is called cognitive computing and it is a subfield of AI that strives for a natural human-like interaction with machines. Using AI and cognitive computing, the ultimate goal is for a machine to simulate human processes through the ability to interpret images and speech and then speak coherently in response. In order to make machines to think, first you have to make them to see the world. Computer vision relies on pattern recognition and deep learning to recognize what's in the picture or a video which gives a capability to machine to understand the picture presented to it. When machine can process, analyze and understand images, they can capture images or videos in real time and interpret the surroundings. The ultimate success of artificial intelligence will be there when a machine can behave like humans and one of the human characteristics is speaking using language. Natural language processing NLP is the ability of computers to analyze, understand and generate human language including speech. The next stage of NLP is a natural language interaction which allows humans to communicate with computers using normal everyday language to perform tasks. In this brief video session, I provided you an introduction to the area of artificial intelligence. The presentation started with a just introduction to its history, application areas and the different subfields within it. So finally to conclude, AI is an emerging and evolving technology. It is already in use many areas and its future use list is an expanding list rapidly. A basic awareness of AI is recommended for every student. This is Ravina Dastikop ending this presentation. So you can see this presentation and all other my presentations in the URLs given above. And in case you want me to add another topic for my presentation, kindly send it to my URL addresses given here. Thank you.